Hello everyone, today is going to be a very short video because today we're going to be giving an update on the Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia um, Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia fight Well, let's talk about it Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis are going to be fighting in April I hope that none of them drop out and it's going to be an interesting fight you know, it's going to be a very interesting fight. I think I'm bleeding. I hope not. Oh, shit. I think I'm bleeding. Sorry, guys. Um, this did not go to plan, but it's all right. It's okay. We'll still talk. So, Javante Davis is supposed to fight Ryan Garcia. Now, again, I've told you guys once before and once now. Ryan Garcia is the one that made me get into the boxing scene. He's the one that actually pushed me to actually train and do everything. And exercise and you know train boxing exercise boxing you know he's the one that actually motivated me to do all this You've, uh, um, Ryan Garcia now again people are saying Javante is gonna win Ryan Garcia is gonna win people are saying Javante Davis is gonna get fuck it's gonna fucking destroy Garcia but the thing is though is that it's like it's 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 not easy to predict it. I honestly, it's generally for me. I don't know who's gonna win. I can't tell who's gonna win because both of them, both have the same advantages. People keep on saying that Garcia, um, Javante has speed. Garcia has power. It's not the case. Javante has speed and power, and Garcia has speed and power. They both have speed and power. They both have had knockouts. They both have had knockdowns. You have to understand that both of them have the same advantages. That's what makes this fight so special. Garcia, the, under the underdog, trying to beat Javante, trying to prove his point. Javante coming into this fight, you know, being the, the main event guy. The real person, the real opponent that's gonna test Garcia. You know, it's gonna be an interesting fight. I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped for it. I don't know where it's streaming on, but I have to check, but I'm hyped for it. But honestly, it's a difficult fight to predict. Everyone's predicting online, oh yeah, Javante will clap him. Ryan Garcia all the way. I'm obviously voting for my boy Ryan Garcia because Ryan Garcia is my favorite fighter of all time. One of my favorites. So I'm going to be voting for him. And he's had some success in this career. He's beaten Luke um, Campbell. He's beaten Luke Campbell. He's knocked out some very major opponents. He's a won a championship. But Javante Davis is a three division champ. <clears throat> now I can tell you this. The difference between Javante and Garcia is that Javante is very, very, what could you say, precise, very accurate, very, like, consistent, you know? Javante is very, like, he's like calculates everything in his head. He's like messy on the pitch, on the football pitch. Again, for you football fans, there's your, my reference, but you get what I mean. Javante calculates just like Soul Papi. Soul Papi is one of the best counter strikers in the YouTube scene. Javante Davis is kind of like Soul Papi. One single mistake you do, he will find that mistake and he will counter. If you see in the Isaac V. Cruz fight, I've seen that fight from Javante. If you've seen the Isaac V. Cruz fight, Javante, Isaac V. Cruz, Isaac was going like this, and then he was doing the Mike Tyson, and he was punching outwards, and then Javante quickly slipped, hook, slipped, hook, uppercut, slipped, hook, slipped, again, sorry, slipped, hook, you know? Javante does those calculations, he uses his head movement, he catches them really quickly. Just like I told King Kenny to do in the Rock Sioux fight. He quickly 
counters. One second, boom. Uppercut, boom, hook, boom, uppercut, boom, hook, boom, body shot. Javante does those little, little hooks and punches <coughs> that are precise and effective. Even for most of his fights, that's how he gets his knockouts. One single mistake, he does an uppercut or a hook, and they're knocked down. That's how Javante wins his fights. The thing is now, is that how Ryan Garcia wins his fights, is he uses technique, uses game plan, uses game strategy, uses boxing IQ to lure his opponents in. Lure his opponents in, and when he's lured his opponents in, then he goes for the knockout. I'll give you an example. <coughs> for Luke Campbell, he set up the body shot. He set up the body shot. He made it so that Luke Campbell, sorry, not for Luke Campbell, sorry. There was one fight, he was a very young fighter. Very young. He fought like this other Mexican guy. Bald, completely. Knocked him out cold. Completely out cold. How he did that is he used boxing IQ. He lured him in so he made him comfortable for attacking forward and when he attacked forward Garcia stepped back and went for a quick hook and knocked him out that's how Garcia won his fight he used his game strategy boxing IQ to win his fights Javante finds those little little mistakes you make and he counters those and puts those against you that's the real difference. You can't say the difference is that he has speed, he has power, he has speed, he has power. They both have speed and power. They both of them have speed and power. So you can't predict that, okay, he has speed, he has power. No, they both have speed and power. That's the real difference. Javante finds those mistakes. Garcia uses his boxing IQ, uses his game plan to win. That's the difference. Now let's talk about the press conference and what people are saying. First thing, the press conference is that Garcia is getting in Javante's head. Garcia is trying to get into Javante's head by talking all that shit. He's trying to blow Javante's self-esteem. I don't think it's going to affect him. But he's trying to lower that self-esteem from Javante. By offending him, saying that you have a you have a man purse, you have um why'd you put a bet on me, you know? And Javante is coming back saying that your hook's nothing, and then he said why'd you put a bet on me, you know? So he Ryan Garcia is trying to get into Javante's mind and try and make him unconfident before the fight, and him feeling confident. So that he can get the upper hand. I don't think it's going to affect Javante at all. But I think they're, they're both trying to play mind games with each other. Now the other thing. Garcia has said. I'm his tallest opponent ever. Which will be a big difference. Ryan Garcia has the height. Javante is it's it's a little lower. Right? Garcia, what Garcia can do, what I keep on saying, you have that reach advantage, you have that height advantage, use it. Extend that jab, keep that jab, and every time Garcia opens, he can back up quickly and counter from Javante. So as soon as Javante comes for a hook, finds that mistake, J uh, Ryan, Ryan Garcia can back up, counter back. <sighs> you know? And then he, he should do that in this fight because he has a reach advantage. He has the high advantage, he has a reach advantage. So to prevent those hooks, he needs to move back and then step back. Counter back at Javante. Pressure him. You know? And then Javante is going to have a, tr a difficult time 
The only way Javante can win is how he gets inside, get, gets into his opponent and attacks his opponent because he doesn't have the reach advantage. He could miss his uppercuts and hooks, those counters he does to smaller opponents. He can do that. So Garcia has the advantage, the reach advantage, and he needs to use it. Javante has never fought a tall opponent as big as him. So it will be a very interesting fight to see who wins. But obviously I'm voting for my boy Ryan Garcia. J J I think if Javante, if Garcia plays stupid and he attacks like he usually does, like how usually Javon, uh, Ryan Garcia fights, is he keeps his stance like this, he keeps on moving forward, he, his head is all open and he just j goes for the jab goes for the hook and he just keeps on pushing and attacking and just keep on doing different combinations if Garcia does that Gervonta will knock him out or Gervonta will find the mistake come with those hooks and beat Garcia if Bob Garcia becomes very careful with his defense stays the distance uses his reach uses that jab moves backwards when Javante goes for a hook and then counters back Ryan Garcia will win this fight it's an interesting matchup like I keep on saying it's a very interesting matchup but obviously guys man obviously I'm going for my boy Garcia he's the one that made me start this and I'm still gonna continue and gave me this knowledge of boxing for you guys so, thank you all for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And one more thing to my Muslim people, Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem, hopefully you guys keep all 30 fasts and pray a lot. Tomorrow I also have to pray, wake up in the morning and fast. So, Ramadan Kareem to all my Muslims who watch this. And thank you all for watching. That's it. Who will win? Will Javante win? Or will Garcia win? Will Javante attack, find Garcia's mistakes? Or will Garcia dodge those mistakes, fix those mistakes, and come back better? Let's find out.